let me ask y'all a serious question. I got my eyebrows laminated, tinted as well. They are not pushed up. They're literally just living because I just washed my face and whatnot. But do we like them? Do we feel like they fit my face best whenever we have like a little thin brow moment? Because here they are, you know, just vibing, chilling on my face. Plot twist. This is what they look like whenever they're pushed up. And I feel like I've been having a big brow moment. Like I have a lot of brow hairs, clearly. Um, so they, but they give me like a different look whenever I have them all pushed up and laminated and whatnot. But I'm telling you, like, I'm kind of living for it. Like I'm kind of having my, a big brow moment, you know, stunning. This eyebrow, um, is the temperamental child. Actually, they both are. They're both brats. Wheeled rotten brats. But anyway, let a girl know. What are your thoughts? What are your opinions? And don't be rude. Just let me know. Okay, per. Anyways, point blank period. Today we're getting ready. We have absolutely zero reason to get ready. Other than the fact that I'm filming all day long. And that's part of my job. So, anyways. I have lots of makeup. Some things are new. Some things are quite literally just not new. But I did a base routine yesterday. Which I actually posted on TikTok. So, if you don't follow me, go do that. But, um... I'm doing that. I'm going to show you guys a new base routine. A little glowy. Um, be cute because it's absolutely gorgeous outside. It's 83 degrees and sunny. So after I get done filming, I need to pop my bag. Oh. She's paralyzed. I'll never be the same. Bro, that was crazy. There you go. The chill cold that Zevia has on me is astronomical. Anyways. On top of that, today is... The lip oil, let me back up, I'm clearly drunk. The lip oil launch for this spring collection, which is absolutely gorgeous, stunning, beautiful, amazing. Um, these two are new because I just went in my office. This one is my third tube. Um, absolutely stunning. I'll swatch those for you guys. I'll also do a video just about the lip oils. I blow my nose so much that I have a literal rash. But before I start every look, I put the lip oil on. I always go with the shade Perfect. It's the light pink shade, but they all are pretty sheer. To be honest with you, why is my phone buzzing? You're done. Oh, wait, it was a cell. Never mind. Anybody else have sideburns? What's the reason? What's the reason? So, that's that. We'll go ahead and get... That was a loud clap. We'll go ahead and get into the makeup routine. I used this moisturizer yesterday for the first time. This is the uh, okay, Clear Stem Hydro Glow Moisturizer. Um, everyone their mom has talked about this because it is acne safe. This is what it looks like. Like it's just a thin moisturizer, but everybody says it's gorgeous, stunning, beautiful, amazing. So I said point blank, period, give it to me. And this is how I've been doing it. And by, like, I'm sitting here acting like I've done this every day. I've quite literally just did it yesterday for the first time. But I'll put the moisturizer on the back of my hand. And as you can see, I have a crusty soft hand. Don't worry, I'm going to fix it tonight. And then I go with this Chanel product. Um, This is the Chanel Le Beige Water Fresh Complexion Touch. Not the Water Fresh Tint, the Complexion Touch. And this is in the shade B50, so it's pretty dark. And I do a little bit of it, like so. And I mix it in with my finger and put that all over my face, to be honest with you. So, it's dark. It's going to tint my face a little bit. It doesn't really give you any coverage, to be quite frank and honest. But that's fine, because we're not here for coverage. We're here for glow. We're here for glow, and we're here for gorgeous, stunning, beautiful, amazing skin. Which is exactly the look that this gives. So sometimes I like to put it in with a brush. Sometimes my fingers. Sometimes a sponge. It's whatever my personal journey is that day. And I guess today it's fingers. I also soft tanned my face last night. But to be honest with you, it doesn't really last that long. So, And also where this is like beads, you have to be careful. You have to like just spread it well. So I'm going to take this Makeup by Mario brush also i just placed a really big order on sephora after patrick todd did alex earl's makeup for like the 40th time let me tell you something him doing her makeup is the greatest pr move i've ever seen like as far as marketing goes for a company number one it's organic i'm sure he's not charging her to do her makeup so he's using her and saying hey not using her in a bad way saying like hey i'll do your makeup we'll do a look she's getting to work with one of the top makeup artists in the literal world who's done makeup on the most famous people she's learning from him she's making connections through him and he's getting skyrocketing sales for his company and more exposure i think we all need to hop on that train to be honest the way i need to send her pr if any of you all have alex earl's contact information just like let a girl know if you would don't be fake also you know what brow job i've been lacking benefit benefits um 
24 hour brow setter. It's really good. So we basically have zero coverage whatsoever, which is cute, but not that cute because I want a little bit of coverage. So I'm going to um, put a little bit more on. I actually bought this on my birthday trip in Nashville, the same time I got my Louis Vuitton makeup case. And me and Chase went out for my birthday to this little restaurant. Um, what was the name of that restaurant? Everybody there wrote me a happy birthday card. They wrote happy birthday and everybody was so sweet. It was really nice, but I don't remember the name of it. I'll have to ask him, see if he remembers. But anyways, we went there and I was wearing this foundation and it, or this skin tint, cause it's not really a foundation at all. And it looked gorgeous. And I was like, oh, stunning. So love that. Yesterday for the very first time, I used the Glowish um, Bright Light Sheer Concealer. I used mine in the shade, here it is. I used it in the shade Light. They sent it to me um, in PR and I really liked it a whole lot. It reminds me of the Rare Beauty, but I think that I still like the Rare Beauty a little better. I'm not positive, so don't go quoting me just yet. I'm still trying it, but I think I'm gonna mix them today. Mix the Rare Beauty with it. This is literally my favorite product and I think that I'm like close-ish to being out like in the near future. I will pass away. I'm not on their PR list either, but also I was thinking about that and I was like, I have never seen um, anybody do a sponsored post with Rare Beauty because let's be honest, Selena Gomez is the most followed person on Instagram and like she has been. I think she's got like 400 million followers like What's the reason? Half y'all don't even speak English. Is that right? Am I wrong to say that? I'm pretty sure that's like the fact. And people just follow her. And I don't even know why. Like, why is she that famous? More famous than Kimberly Noel Kardashian? Makes zero sense to me. I don't know. I do not know. But anyway, facts are facts, so. Okay, this next product, y'all are going to be like, well, we're so confused because you said you didn't like that. They had me in the first half. They had me in the first half. The Makeup by Mario Soft Sculpt Transforming Skin Enhancer, shade medium. I told y'all, I said, I don't like it. And I didn't. And I stood beside that. I'm a woman of my word. Turns out, I like it. Woman can change. Woman's words can change. Let a woman live. That ain't none of your business. Anyways, I really like this a whole lot because, number one, it's cream. Beautiful, gorgeous, stunning, amazing for summertime. Um, okay. And then... It just blends out really well and looks amazing. Like, it's just, she's given snatched. She's given pulled up cheekbones. She's given everything. Did I just have a spasm? What's going on? I have had not the best couple of days, to be honest with you. Um, so, that's that. But, nevertheless... I am in a great mood today. Truly great mood. I'm also using the skin enhancer on my nose. And I did not use a powder yesterday over top of this. No, I'm lying to you. I did. I did use a powder. I used the Dior. I was going to say I didn't, but I'll be lying. So I did use a powder, but I only used a teeny tiny bit. And it was just for the color, not really for like powder purposes. So, um, but yeah, I really love like the color that it gives. Like I said, I'm in the shade medium. Um, I love the blendability of it. Like, she's just vibing out here. I'm here for it. Also, bad news, to be honest with you. Um, either the e.l.f. Halo Glow, like, liquid filter, or the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless filter has been breaking me out because my skin was gorgeous, stunning, beautiful, perfectly clear. And I started using it and I got little like clogged pores around the area where I use it. And I don't know which one it was, but I know it was whenever I went to New York because I came back and I was clogged. Rude. Also, my next flight to New York is uh, later at the end of this month. It's like, I'm not going to tell you when. I don't know why. I just feel like it's kind of sus. But anyways, so, um, my flight is a little bit later in the day and I've never had a late flight. I've always had really early flights. But let me tell you something. One time I was flying with my friend and our flight was at 6 a.m. 6 a.m. And I was like, oh, that's no problem. But I hadn't really flown a lot. So I didn't realize what that entailed. And the airport was an hour and a half away. So we had to get up at 2.45 in the morning. I said, is this a joke? 
and we thought that the flight was late because we were just flying to Orlando. No, the flight was early. Early. I'm going to go with my Dior powder. You already know. Don't talk about her. She's gone. Can't use her. Can't find her. Um, I'll cry myself to sleep tonight, but don't worry about it right now. I also love the Charlotte Tilbury bronzer, the Sunkissed bronzer. I like the matte one too. It's fine, but the Sunkissed is better in my opinion. And we want to be bronze glowing gorgeous girls today. I've also been wearing eyeshadow. Who am I? Who am I? I don't know. You let me know. Um, fun fact, you see where this is broken? <laughs> Once upon a time, we were driving in the car, me and Chase. We were on our way to Gatlinburg and, um, we were going to meet my parents because my parents got a log cabin down there and we were going to go spend the weekend in the log cabin and we were all excited, you know, blah, blah. We get in the car and maybe this is actually a completely different day. I could be lying, but I'm pretty sure this is when. No, this is when it happened. Yeah, we were on our way to Pigeon Forge. And um, there was a spotter on the on the roof of his truck. And he was like, oh my gosh, there's a spotter. I don't have anything. Ow, what I got in my eye. He was like, I don't have anything to kill it with. And I was like, oh no, like it's going to kill us, you know. And all that there was was my Makeup by Mario palette sitting there. And in my head, I just thought he would like smash it. You know what I mean? Like he just, if a bug's crawling, you just... Like, here's the bug, you just, you know what I mean? <laughs> and so, in my head, I thought he was just going to smash the bug. No problem. It can hold it. Makeup by Mario is a good, sturdy palette. We love this, you know. Chase Alexander um, decides to smack it. <laughs> Which, I don't really know why that he would think to do that anyways, you know. Because if you smack it, and then it just goes somewhere, then you just have a spider crawling around somewhere else in your car, you know? Um, but nevertheless, like, it's okay. We forgive and we forget, you know what I mean? But I knew for a fact that he had just broken my palette, my Master Mar my master Matt's Makeup by Mario palette. And I said, why did you do that? And he was like, what do you mean? You gave it to me. And I was like, but I didn't know that you were going to smack it. I thought that you were going to press it up. I thought you were just going to squish the bug, not smack the bug. And he was like, why would I do that? And I was like, okay. So I opened my palette, shattered. And he was like, oh gosh. And he felt really bad. And so I was like, you know, it's not that big of a deal. It's this peach shade. I don't love peach anyways. And it didn't completely shatter it. Like it broke it for sure. But she's not fully shattered. But, you know, lesson learned. You live life and you learn lessons. And so now he always makes jokes. And he says that those palettes are good for killing bugs, killing spotters. And I'm going to be honest with you, I don't even know if he killed the spotter. We'll see. I think I'm going to do the rest of my blush. What I like to do is layer down a cream blush first. You guys know this, but I'll show you again. I like to layer down a cream blush first. I like to use this one from Rare Beauty, the shade Happy. If you don't have it, get it or else. And then I take my e.l.f. Duo Complexion Brush. Work it in. Work, 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 work. And then go on the tops of my cheekbones. And guess what I've been doing? My gorgeous, stunning, amazing, beautiful friend, Brielle, the makeup artist, who we are actually working together next week, which I'm so excited. Um, I feel like we see each other a lot for us to live so far away. But anyways, so this is that. Gorgeous, beautiful, stunning, amazing blush. And she always places it here. Like she goes a little bit higher up on my cheekbones. She goes on my forehead, my nose, and my chin. These are things that she has taught me. Um, and she's a genius. We all know. And so that's what I've been doing because what she says is Bible, obviously. And she knows my face. I also love continuing to work with her. And like now that she's done my makeup five-ish times, something like that, maybe more. Um, no, I guess it's been five, five, five times. Um, she like knows my face, knows my structure, knows what I like, what I don't like. And she knows like just exactly how to make it look wonderful on my face. She's amazing. Love her to death. And um, so I just like learn all the tips and tricks from her, you know. Shout out Brielle, literally. I need to call her. I actually called her the other day. She didn't answer. Okay. Also, I haven't talked about this on YouTube yet. This is a sample, lab sample of my blush palette <laughs> the way she's gorgeous beautiful and stunning the way that this will change your life the um names will be on the back 
I'm literally in the process of designing them like today. The names will be on the back. Um, they'll be gorgeous names, of course. You've got a full mirror. It's magnetic closure. Gorgeous. And then the actual shade of it will be like the Fawn Beauty pink. So it won't be tan. I thought I was going to do tan. I was like going to transition. But um, I think I'm going to do pink. I don't think I am going to do pink. And then the packaging will be pink as well. Um, it'll obviously come in a box with the ingredients on the back. And I think I'm going to have like a cute little message for you guys. Why did I put this over here? I'm about to use it. But I ask everybody on TikTok, which again, follow me on TikTok. I was like, do you guys want a quad? Do you want single blushes? Because I was going to do single blushes. And everybody's like, no, do that quad. And I said, okay, period. And also the mirror is really good quality in it. And so I wore it for the first time. Like I showed you guys me putting it on, blah, blah, like did a whole thing. And wore it that day. And my mom, who really doesn't care about makeup all that much, like she's not a big makeup person. I know. Like how did she birth me? I don't know. Maybe I'm adopted. Um, she was like, your blush is literally stunning. And she was like, and that has been on your face all day long. And I went to Chase's little brother's baseball game. Had this blush on. It was gorgeous, beautiful, stunning. Lasted me the whole game. And just looked so good. And just stayed in place the whole time. And usually blush is the first thing to go. But it was gorge. Gorge. Also, let me say this about the Glowish Concealer. I think that I do like it. But I think that it looks a little heavy under the eye. And that's not really, that's not really my journey. You know what I mean? Let me go get a brush real quick. Okay. Also, do you guys like my filming setup? And I still have my sports bra on from this morning because I just didn't want to change bras and now it's <laughs> hurt my traps. Um, I love the makeup by Ariel brushes, but sometimes I do feel like they're missing, like there's a few eye brushes that I would want. And this is one that I love. This is the Morphe M535. And anytime that I'm doing like um, my outer corner, I like to use something fluffier, but I'm going to use this little one for right now. This is the Morphe and Ariel A25. And I'm going to go in with these like this shade and maybe this shade down here and this one honestly just so I can mix them all to get my desired color and then kind of swirl it in and then I'll blend it out in a second but I just want to have like a little extra something something on the eyes today I got a lot of content to film I want to be looking cute mm, who gave me a black eye who did it then I take my brush that I started with and I blend the heck out of it. And then I take the lightest two shades in the palette and pack them on the inner third of my eye. Because I like I like it to be light right there. I don't like a super like dark eye. It's not my journey. So then take that same brush, blend everything. Ow. Then key component here. I take the shade um, Costa Riche from MAC and line, like, do a really tiny tight line of Costa Riche all across my upper waterline. And that makes a world of difference. It just makes the look a lot more glam. And it's like, but subtle, you know? It's like, okay, she's glam, but it's a subtle glam because it doesn't look like much to the eye. Like, it doesn't look like much whenever you're just looking at me. But it looks... Like, I have more lashes. It just gives you what you want, you know? It's just like, if you can't figure out why your makeup doesn't look like a makeup artist, probably because you're not doing this. All right, then I do that, and I take a smudger brush and smudge it out. So, what I'm going to do is add a little bit more of this Rare Beauty because I feel like my under eyes have lost some of the brightness, and that's not the vibe. So, we're going to add that back in real quick because we want to have a bright under eye. We don't... We don't mess around with no dark under eyes. We are hydrated and we are sleeping eight hours. And to be honest with you, last night I slept four hours. I'm unwell. I'm unwell. It's fine. Everything's fine. So then I'm going to go in with that same smudger brush and smudge the light brown shades that I put on my top underneath. We love a smoky gal. And you know what I've been doing? Not caring. I've just been not caring. I'm like, oh, am I going to like this makeup look? I don't know. But you know what? I'll never know until I try it. And if I don't like it, guess what I'll do? Take it off. Boom. Like, what's the purpose? And it's like, oh, well, other people like this makeup look on me. I don't care. If I like it, I like it. If you don't, that ain't my problem. My eyes look so blue in camera. Or on camera. But not in real life. I tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to take one of the, like, ready 
brick brown shades and put on the lower lash line because that makes my eyes look real green. Stunning. Okay. Now we're going to curl the lashes. Wait, did I put my inner corner highlight on? Yeah. We're going to curl the lashes. I did get a lash lift and tint, um, but I still like to give them a little, a little curl. I still have mascara in them from yesterday. What is my problem? I guess I need to run a comb. Run a comb through them. And that's okay. Also, one of my favorite things to do is... I have, like, songs stuck in my head all the time. Don't ask me why. I do not know. And I will sing them. And then Chase will be like, stop singing that song. You're going to get it stuck in my head. And then five seconds later, guess what he's doing? Singing the song. And... <laughs> And then he will start singing the songs. And usually it's, um, um, everybody, yeah, yeah, rock your body. It's usually that one. Before I do that, I'm going to make my brows, um, relax a little. So I'm just using this. I think I like this because it's got a comb on it, but it doesn't, like, stick them to your head like the Patrick Ta does. Patrick Ta, I mean, if you want, if you don't have laminated brows already and you want that look, like, it's phenomenal. Um, I do think it dried out my brow hairs whenever I used it. Like, it, I don't think it did. I'm, like, 90,000% positive that it did. Because it just smells like acid or something. It's fine, though, you know. Um, yesterday, I used this mascara and it was beautiful, stunning, amazing. Why is this so dark? Let me, hold on. Hold on. Okay, I've returned. See, it was so dark and I don't know why. This Milani mascara is what I used yesterday, and I got it actually literally all over myself. But, um, I don't really care all that much because it's tubing mascara, so it's really easy to get off. And my lashes just look so good all day. And they were really black and long and curly. And exactly how you would want your lashes to look. So... Beautiful, stunning, amazing. Like, it's a really wet formula and they stick together a whole lot. I just feel like you have to know how to work the formula. Also, Milani commented on my YouTube video, which I thought was so random. Like, I'm on their PR list. I've never worked with them, but I'm on their PR list. And, like, they're the ones who sent me this mascara. I didn't buy it, which I would buy it. But they commented and they were like, the only thing missing from your Amazon cart is um, Milani products. And I was like, be for real. Be for real with me. You send me everything. You know? I just thought it was a random comment. It's the way that I literally told you guys that I love this mascara. And I did. I wasn't lying. And then it fully played me. Played me like a dirty fiddle. Now. Now she's back to normal. I'm putting more blush on because I needed more blush. I think I hate my makeup. Do I turn you on and all when I kiss you, baby? be honest i definitely feel like something's off perhaps it's my lips um because i don't have any lip liner on what does that smell oh perfume i was scared to death oh i'll tell you what else is off the fact that i don't have any um beautiful stunning mascara not mascara eyeliner on my waterline i always do that okay for lips i'm gonna go in with the shade um honey beige from huda beauty i don't even know why i'm doing this because i'm about to film a video about the lip shades, but whatever. And then I'm just going to use Perfect on top. Perfect. It just fills out your lip lines, you know? And just, like, like gives you a stunning, beautiful look. I feel like my eyes are too dark, to be honest with you. So, I feel like I'm going to go with my makeup eraser and erase my... Why did that work? Literally so well. I was not expecting that. Okay, beautiful. So now that I've taken that off, I'm just gonna go in back with my bronzer shade because that was like too cool tone. I don't know what happened or what went on, but it was not the vibe. So we're gonna use bronzer just across that, up into the brow, down the bridge of the nose. Done. Much happier. Okay, guys, that is it. That is my little get ready with me. All my new little updates, all the things. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure to like and subscribe before you leave. 
Everything will be linked down below in the description box, as always. And I hope you guys have a fabulous day. I got it on my eyeball. That really hurt.